Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so in the last episode, we made our motor factory. Oh yeah, she's looking awesome. So I also told you I was going to fix up the front end here to make it look a lot more eye-appealing. And this looks a lot better than the jangled mess that we had before. Oh yeah. So yeah, seems to come in and off really nicely. I like it. Pretty good, pretty good. But today's episode, we're going to start to venture into something a little bit more... Uh, start like mid-game, I would have to say. Like, we're probably just starting the mid-game right now. Uh, we're going to be doing oil processing today. But first, uh, we have to go unlock it. First, let's go here. So, oil processing. Uh, you need some screws and wires, huh? All right, well, we'll just select that for now. We'll toss this in. At least that'll be out of our way. Now we need 3,000 wire and a whole bunch of cable. Then we'll go jump this in here and we'll start oil processing. We'll have a look at it anyways and see what we have to to do to get it on the, ro on the go here. Bam. Milestone reached. Oil acquisition and refining unlocked. Oil-based products can now be made. Caution, this is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out-of-base activities. Alright, so with oil processing, we get um, oil scanning and we get new recipes. So, circuit boards. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make a factory on circuit boards, just because... It's kind of pointless because um, circuit boards are used in for making other things. So, uh, what else did we get here? Uh, nothing in that. But with the oil refineries, so if we go to Q, can we plop down one of these things here? That would be in production, no? Oh, yeah, oil. So we got uh, a pump and a refinery. Uh, modular frames, huh? Hmm. Do I have any laying around by any chance? Alright, so being the good YouTuber that I am, I was um, reading um, something that we don't do very often. Uh, heavy modular frames. Oh, caca. Oh, caca, 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 caca. So this is going to be our next factory by the looks of it. Um, in order to do this, we're going to have to unlock the next, the next tier. Because you see it shows... Um, Four? Four of these different items you have to plunk in. And the only way to get four items is by, here we go, industrial manufacturing and getting the manufacturer. This thing here can intake four items and output one. So, yeah, we're going to have to do this milestone. We're going to have to get this one done. So in seven minutes, I'll come back. We'll unlock that. Uh, and then we're going to start uh, getting our modular, heavy modular frame factory up and running. So, looks like our modular frame factory is actually going to get used for something. I didn't realize that. Aha. Uh -huh. But that's fine. That's fine. We can... Uh, we can deal with this. Alright, so uh, I'll wait the seven minutes and we'll get the other rest of the materials hooked up and all that good stuff and wow, what a game changer. Sweet. Absolutely sweet. Alright, now, can we build one of these things? Oh, uh, we're going to need heavy knowledge and what? Am I seeing that right? We're going to need computers? Oh, I just got a headache. Oil factories, here we come. So let's find out where our crude oil is. Come on, crude oil. I know it's pretty far away, it's like a thousand meters. Maybe farther. Oh my god. Any time now. No? Really? Oh, there we go. 2,000. 2,000. And 2,000. Oh, wow. Alright, so I got two of them this way. Uh, 2,800 and 2,300. So those two are pretty close. 
I guess I'm going to gather my stuff, my resources, and go on an adventure and find out where all this oil is. Oh my god. We finally made it. It was a long trek. It was uh, very hard and injurious. Uh, killed a lot of enemies and stuff along the way. So we did pretty good there, I think. Uh, we found a, so a hard drive, which I didn't have to do anything to unlock it. It just had pull lever, so I thought that was great. Did manage to get up some uh, heavy modular frames, so that's kind of nice. I found those on the ground. Uh, got another Mercer sphere, a Mercer sphere, uh, alien organisms, carapaces, stuff like that. Got a slug, so that's pretty good. So here's our first oil node. This one's a pure. That's friggin' awesome. Uh, there's also two more in the vicinity, so that's the one we're on. There's another one right over here. And there's another one right over there. So I'm going to harvest the three of these. I'm going to, oh, there's still some more bad guys there stroming around. So I'll get rid of them. And we'll start building our way back uh, to our base, which is right over there, which is pretty close. We'll uh, do an item belt, I guess. We'll bring three rows in. And uh, yeah, it's going to be glorious. So I'll start setting all that up. And uh, yeah, like always, we'll be back. But first, death. Starting to look pretty impressive. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. Um, looks like there's a little bit of a visual bug right now. These are the splitters. I guess you can see the way that they're being split. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the lights on there are showing through the through, showing through the walls. So it's kind of weird, but you know, whatever. So I built this platform. This is subject to change depending on how many refineries I'm going to need and how big they are. So I did leave myself a little bit of extra room right here to expand, and that right there is a pure uh, limestone node. So that's pretty awesome. We're going to take advantage of that while we're here as well, and we'll create a bus for that to go down and join the other one. And then uh, I know I'm going to need concrete really soon for certain things, so it's it's gonna that's going to come in like super handy. Uh, there's four oil nodes over there. I only seen three at first, but there's four, so that's pretty awesome. So we're going to try to exploit that as much as we possibly can. So let's have a look at one of these oil refineries. All right, they're pretty big. I'm going to have to say they're about like the size of these over here there, the coal. Um, yeah, that, that's not too bad actually. I thought it would have been a little bit more more bigger than that. It's kind of tall, which is fine, but uh, the width wise is pretty good. We're still looking at a, at a boat, probably about a tile, so that's, that's really good. We should be able to fit like lots of these up in here. Oh, I'll go and place down the first few and see how it's going to look and all that good jazz. Wow, pure craziness. Can you believe that? I got 40 of those oil processing plants going on over there. <laughs> oh, oh, man. You know, that's gonna if that all runs all at the same time, it's going to consume 2,000 megawatts of power. So, you know what that means I'm going to have to do in between episodes. I'm going to have to upgrade our power plant again a couple of times. i got an idea about that, how to make it a little bit uh, bigger and pretty cool. So, I'm going to try to stay away from gas uh, as well, which I could be actually setting up now as a, a gas refinery and all that stuff and run power through gas, which technically it's a, a little bit better than oil, but... These processing plants have like three options. You can make plastic, fuel, or rubber. And yeah, um, I'm choosing to make rubber on one side and plastic on the other side. So that way I'm going to avoid uh, making gas completely. Um, my goal is to try to get to nuclear power as fast as I can. Uh, that way we can have a better power source and all that good stuff. Um, trains are going to be very useful for carting that material around because it's uh, going to save me from having <coughs> belts of uh, radiated material running all over the place. So uh, we'll do some kind of train setup for that. 
Now, what else? Um, I guess it's all that's left to do is hook power up to this. And I made the belt system all the way over there with the power. And I put the oil uh, pumps down. So now I just got to figure out how to bring power up here. And once that's done, well, I'll meet you on the other side over there and we'll connect her all up. And this is the setup that I'm going for right now. I got one, two, three, four. This is a pretty little place, man. This is pretty nice. Nice little flat area to build the whole base out here. That'd be pretty sick. Um, so let's go find out what we got for nodes. Um, I'm curious to find out what these are. I forgot to check, so let's do that right now. Oh snap, the first one is a pure one. Oh wow, that is awesome. So we got one pure. Let's go check this one out. We have two pure. Oh boy, wow, that's wicked. Oh, ho, 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 ho. three pure. Ho, ho. One more to go. And the last one. <laughs> oh, yippee. Alright, so this is awesome. We're going to have to do uh, two belts on the way back. Alright, so now that I decided that um, i seen that we had four pure nodes here of oil. Uh, these two are going to join in one line. And this one and that one are going to join in another line. Um... Combine each one does 240 oil per minute, so that'd be what 280 or 480 and then 480. So if I split it up into two belts, that should be pretty good. And that's not even overclocked with power shards yet. So once I put power shards in here, oh baby, man, we'll have like oil for centuries. Um, that's pretty awesome. So now the only thing left to do, you guessed it, let's put power to these puppies. Uh, thank you very much. Excellent. So now, oh, look at that. It's like instantaneous. And we got oil coming in from there, oil coming in from there. Oh, this is awesome. This is so awesome, everybody. <laughs> oh, I just want to watch it all merge and join and fill up. Like, it's all definitely going to back up, like, there's no choice. That's crazy. Oh, that's just awesome. That's just totally awesome. These are all Mark III belts too, by the way. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, there we go. There we got the stagger. Oh, man. Oh, man. We got dual oil lines. That's pretty sick. Look at them just bouncing around on there. I don't know if that's a visual glitch or they're supposed to be doing that, but that's funky. That's funky. What the heck is that? Oh, yeah. You shoot off flameage? Really? Oh, that's intense. That's intense. Most excellent. The line is full, and now we just have to go and connect them. Uh did this just because I wanted them to start at the exact same time. Well almost the same time so we'll see how this goes come on there you go perfect all right so now i'm expecting power to fail and how i got this set up looks a little janky but um, the back line here and that back line there are fed by one belt and the two lines in the middle are fed by the other belt I think that should be good. So, like I said, I'm expecting power failure, so I just want to have a look at this and see how it goes because this is supposed to draw a lot of power. All right. Well, I think we got lucky there. Um, I don't think we're gonna uh, <laughs> we're gonna lose power. I think we'll be fine. Um, they seem to be filling up as fast as kind of like I don't know whatever, but I don't think we're gonna lose power. And if we do, no big deal. I already know I have to go and expand our our power network over there, so that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Uh, next time we're going to start into heavy modular frames. 
I think that would be our next big project, uh, get that one tackled. So that means we might be upgrading our other factory, our modular frame factory, so it can maybe produce more depending on the outcome of the modular, heavy modular frames. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace, take care, and we'll see you next time.